you get to have sex with the woman slash man of your dreams. However, there is press conference after discussing your performance. Do you do it, why or why not? I often do imaginary press conferences when I'm taking a shit. I think this would be fun. This guy is living a totally different bathroom experience than I am. Yes. Then I would say I had sex with, insert name, and you didn't. And nobody could call you a liar for it. Practice? We talking about practice? I'm just here so I won't get fined. 1. Have sex. 2. Learn how to be better at sex. That's what we call a win-win. Betty White will be her usual comedic self during the press conference. I'll have to accept that, I guess. 2 minutes in heaven is better than 1 minute in heaven. Yes. For some reason I'm one of those people that craves criticism, so I would enjoy the conference almost as much as the sex. Hell yeah. I'm pretty confident that I would give myself a pretty good rating. It was perfect sex, absolutely perfect. The most beautiful sex you could ever imagine. I do my best Marshawn Lynch impression. Reporter, is it true that you lasted only two minutes? Me, still beat. Is it true that you were her worst partner? Still beat. I totally would. I would beef up for it weeks prior, then even get some sponsorship. Press conference would go like a post NASCAR interview. We lost a bit in the beginning but we had a great sex drive, thanks to our friends at Super Ginseng and USA Cock Rings. Really beat the pants off that lady and I even had her ask me if we could do it again sometime. TV host, ma'am, did you in fact ask to do it again? Sometime? Lady, it all happened so fast I barely had time to say or do anything. So you have sex with someone way out of your league and then there is a press conference confirming publicly the sex with said person way out of your league? Sounds like a win-win. The people with a humiliation fetish make out like bandits in this scenario. He had nothing for me. Dot. The best he could do was disappoint me three times a night. Dot. Humph. Here comes number four. No, I don't want the public to know about me and that guy's dead wife. Seven of nine told me resistance is futile so I complied. I dated a girl like this once, there was always a breakdown and color commentary. If she had pulled out a pointer and portable flip chart it wouldn't have surprised me. Did you learn anything? Can you find the clip now? Fuck yeah. I get to fuck and get told on what I need to improve to get better? Sign me up. You mean Tom Hiddleston admits to the world he boned me? I'll give it my all. Sure, but even if I'm the worst lay he's ever had it's still worth it. The bonus is he's too nice to say anything bad about my performance or the act itself. This actually opens up some doors. Like, I'm a straight dude, but I think I'd pick Vladimir Putin. Because then he would have to admit that he got his fuck on with a dude. I wouldn't even care if it was a bad review at that point. I totally would. I doubt the press conference would be that interesting. Angelina Jolie has disappointing sex with Normie. I mean, it's Taylor Swift. If your woman of your dreams is a virgin you'll be the best she's ever been with. And the worst. I'd do it. The woman of my dreams would lie for me. Fuck yeah. I'm a brag about having sex with Danny DeVito, and I'm a straight guy. It would be a short conference so sure. What? It's over already. I'm 14. That's going to be one hell of a queen's speech. So, let's assume I were gay, and the man of my dreams was Ryan Reynolds. I get to have sex with him, and then we have a press conference where he has to admit to gay sex, and also rate my performance as a lover. Sounds fantastic. Imagine the Deadpool references afterwards. If you're the first guy he says he's slept with publicly, that story never going to die. Hell yeah. Who wouldn't want to brag about having sex with Jessica Alba? Yes. Because the classic hockey interview would follow in the hall. Absolutely exhausted, drenched in sweat. The television station sponsor towel hanging over my shoulders. Yeah Rick, you know this want the outcome we were hoping for. We started strong, but I guess we peaked a little early. Sure we were aggressive, but it's clear they were just fitter. I know everyone involved is disappointed, but you know, we've got a lot of room for improvement. No way. 
It's bad enough having to apologize to the girl let alone the whole world. Ladies and gentlemen I apologize for my performance tonight and I can assure you it happens to lots of men. We're on to Cincinnati. Fuck yeah I'm writing a tell-all book and making big money off it. No, because my performance with my wife is nobody's business. I also choose this guy's wife. My right hand cannot talk for itself, so yeah. Dreams you say? Dreams you say? Well 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 then. Yes. Behold the ultimate sexual experience, an abomination of science. Madness. And hallucinogenic mushrooms. A Baphomet and Parvati hybrid with a harness for cup holders and a condom slash loop dispenser. I just want to see the interview this eldritch horror gives after the sex. Yes. Because I have no shame and even one minute with Scarlett Johansson buys me a beer at any bar for the rest of my life because someone will want to hear the story. I got to be rode by Natalie Dormer while reading me sonnets. Fine. First I'd like a 1980s training montage leading up the event with Push It To The Limit playing in the background of said montage. All of my responses would consist of I don't care, I got to bang her and you didn't. My ex is the woman of my dreams and I'd do literally anything to be with her one more time so yes. Why aren't you together anymore? Would absolutely do it even though the man of my dreams is a long dead rather unfortunate and inbred monarch who had sexual deficiencies and I assume was probably actually possibly really gross. Doesn't matter, had sex. Speaking as a historian, I'm genuinely curious. What are we talking about? Practice? We're talking about practice, man. Fuck yeah. I got to sleep with Margot Robbie. You all can fuck yourselves and comment away about how I did. I done did it fam. I came here just to upvote you slash yo yo slushies comment. Wow. I'd like to have sex one more time with my wife who passed away from cancer 9 years ago. My body yearns for hers. The ultimate downside to finding the one is she may die young and leave you wanting. Me. I felt like it went very well. I had a game plan going into it and I stuck to it. I may have missed a couple of opportunities, but all in all, I'm confident in my performance this evening. Mary Elizabeth Winstead, he opened with about 30 minutes of oral, and that was absolutely delightful. A plus in that regard. Unfortunately the rest of it was very disappointing in comparison. When he was on top. He flailed around like a dying fish. When I was on top, I was too distracted by the contorted look on his face to get any sort of enjoyment. Also, he's got a very strange penis, so strange that I hesitate to even call it a human penis. Lots of effort, but dreadful execution. Me, thank you for the feedback, Mary Elizabeth. I must say that I'm somewhat disappointed in the body shaming. I really expected you to be above that sort of thing. Dot. Family stick together, slash ah uh, slash hol up. I feel like Chris Evans would be such a gentleman and not disclose anything so I'm cool with it. Yes. I don't care if I was good or not, I could still say I had sex with logic. Edit, leave my celebrity crush alone. He has a good heart and is adorable. Yes he talks about being biracial too much but whatever. Jokes on you. Sex to him is biracial Ted talks. No, I'm just glad I got to sex on Aubrey Plaza that one time. I would think that just like my performance, the press conference would also be very short. Yes, the conference will be over as quickly as my performance so it won't be too long of an embarrassment. <laughs>